Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Today, I was going to work on the Super Nintendos, but definitely they're not working. And I need some microscope help and it's all in the new shop. So I'm just going to put it all the way, get it all back to on the bottom of my shelf and just hiding. Um, I want to get to them. I definitely do, but I can't spend too much time on them. these are right now these are just too much time i got i still got all that i mean it looks like a mess it does this whole place looks like a mess about online sales today fantastic i've actually already kind of packed it up but dallas picked up the coleco vision the box coleco vision i just posted that online and he picked up a game top gear 2 a lot of a little zealous and already packed them up um, I need boxes for them. They're too big and I don't have any extra boxes here in the shop right now. They're all in the other shop. I don't even know if I have boxes big enough, so I'm going to have to get some. But he did pick up that awesome ColecoVision. So that guy is going to go to a good home. Thank you, Dallas. Zach, Zach, you guys don't even know yet. Well, you will now. But before, I can't, I can't explain this. Like You guys are like a week behind on YouTube land. Um, I, I would love to get it better, but to be honest, when I go on trips and stuff, it kind of helps me have YouTube videos coming out for you guys. So then I can, I can kind of stay ahead of it a little bit. And if I want to take a couple days off without having to edit videos, I can. So uh, it may be a couple days in advance, but he picked up. Literally just got posted yesterday and that is Metal Gear Solid 3D. So thank you, Zach, for your purchase. It's a great, fantastic game, complete. Um, thank you guys for the support. It's been amazing having you guys here long for the journey. Um, I just, I expect it to grow bigger and better. The more we, the more we support everything else, support learning and excitement and new business opportunities, and you'd be amazing what we can definitely achieve. And I am an example of definitely that because the garage and now a retail store. So just stay tuned. We're, we're just, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's going to be awesome. That I kind of need to get organized and get on top of some of this stuff. So I'm going to do that right now. We will already be at Portland Retro Video Game Expo for that week. Maybe like a day prior, day or two prior, depending on when this video comes out. But we already got our book placed. We've got four of us going. We got a big old place we're staying in. Um, I'm excited for that. And it was, it was fairly cheap, to be honest with you. Splitting it four ways with a bunch of people. It's like 65 bucks a night. Now, don't get me wrong. You could probably do cheaper for Airbnb by yourself. But with four other people, a bunch of big old room and space, uh, it's going to be great. We'll be on the Vancouver side staying, though. So we got a little ways to get it. We got to go over the bridge to get into Portland. But it's not a big deal. Um, super excited. I believe me and Travis will actually be driving up there like early and then we will be coming down like at the end of the week and but that also means if you guys are going to the portland retro video game expo i'll be there you might see me around say hi welcome say i'm i don't care what you say say hi i'll be around i don't know any of you but it's nice to meet some of you so we're gonna have a hell of a time i'm excited for that but for right now i still gotta get through what i have here and it's going to be weird because we won't be in the garage anymore. It's going to be a whole new setting and a whole new experience. Whoo! We only got two more days. I'm ready. Like, tomorrow, we're literally going to be getting the glass case and the um, processing table. Like, the, the sales table or whatever. Going to be gone. It's going to be bare. We're going to start knocking down this wall. This wall. It's going to be gone. We're, we're going to be gone. It's good. Ow! Out. We don't need it anymore. We don't need games. We don't need any of it. These, I gotta put these back. People still come in and buy stuff. Uh, so I, I can't have those on the floor. Those are good games. Sorry, games. Sorry. Sorry. This all packed up. This that sold. We just need boxes for them. I don't have big enough boxes for these two guys. They're fairly large items. Um, so let's. 
Let's get to work. The locals just made a huge purchase. He's gonna be picking it up, but let me show you what he ended up picking up. It's finally sold. The Zelda SP is gone, the Majora's Mask, and Emerald's gone. Garrett, I appreciate it. Helps the business grow and helps me get something cool for the store. Got this pretty dirty NES. I know it powers on, but I have no clue if it works. Uh, we got Bayou Billy in here. Three controllers at work, one that doesn't. Like a half an hour left, and uh, I want to try some more of these NES games. So Bayou Billy was fun. I want to try Base Wars and see what it's like. It has a save file apparently in here or on it. I was like, nothing going on. California. This is Texas. Nine innings. Man. CPU. Perfect. Oh. Oh, what, what is going, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what just happened? All right, we're safe. We made one, one, we got one run. What, I, I, I don't, Oh my gosh. How the f What the f Dude! I can't press any buttons! What the f- I can't even see where my guys are. Oh my gosh, you got a home run. Are you serious? Like, there's no arrows to indicate where my guys are at all. Like, not even on the mini-map. So, like, it's hard for me to know if I'm even close to the ball or not outside. Jump! Get, get away! I can't! What the f... What is this? Man, the freaking computer! Be the fastest inning ever. Home run! Where's my guy? Oh, that is so annoying. Yeah, another home run. Oh my, that was a strike? Oh my gosh. Your CPU is such a cheater. Where's my guy? Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> you would think during coding they would play this and go, yeah, it doesn't really follow the guys. It's hard to, where is my character? The game, I only like, dislike one thing out of this whole game. And that's, I just can't see my characters outside the, the ring. I have no clue where they are. So I can't, I can see where the ball's going but I cannot see where my characters are. There's no arrow pointing anywhere. There's no indication of where I'm at. It doesn't indicate which character I am on the screen. That's the only thing I don't like about this game. Personally, I give this one like a six because of that. I think it's a fun game. It's a great baseball game. It has a little quirks, except for the, I mean, you know what? Also the CPU is a cheater. Six out of 10. Six out of 10 level ups. Another one. Um, there is one in here. There we go. And I'm interested in. And that is Kung Fu Heroes. Right, Kung Fu Heroes, don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. All right, come on, you could be bossum.
well, there's a Foo Hero. Give this one a seven out of 10. It's fun, bunch of levels. Uh, you do die once in one hit, but it's definitely beatable. Doesn't feel like it's uh, punishing if you just pay attention. So seven out of 10, seven, seven out of 10 level ups. Hey, maybe I'll start doing segments of videos and giving them <laughs> ratings. Seven out of 10 level ups, eight out of 10, 10 out of 10. We might have to start doing reviews and adding them to the website or something. That sounds like fun. It gives me a reason to play games for at least a couple minutes. Not a whole bunch, just a couple minutes. Hey, Bayou Billy, minimal like attacks. Um, it's really difficult to get off like a combo. I can get punished when I kick or punch regularly without jumping. Um, and then you have to fight a crocodile, which seems a little like crazy and not including everything takes so many hits. It's a four level ups out of 10 for me. Also means we're done for today. I had a great time, had some fun playing some games, testing some new NES stuff I've never seen or played. So definitely we're gonna continue doing this because I had a great time testing out games um, and I'll rate them however I feel. You know, super biased, everything's biased. If it's not GameCube, it doesn't get 10 out of 10, right? Because I'm biased. Thank you guys for watching as always, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to level up. How the f what the f Dude, I can't press any buttons.